Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Pale Face One, otherwise known as Maximum Game, and I am going to show you something really cool today. Uh, this is how you can play Steam games on your tablet. So, I tried a couple different ones, and this is the one that I found to be the most effective. Uh, as you know, most tablets aren't uh, powerful enough to run anything that can run on Steam, and also the Steam app doesn't actually allow you to play your games. Uh, you can chat with the community and participate on the site, but you can't actually play anything. So uh, I didn't want to accept that, so I found a way to get around it. Alright, so here's what you need to do. Uh, it's overall very simple. Uh, it does cost a little bit of money, but it's not much. It's 10 bucks to do. Uh, there is a variety of different streamers available that you can purchase, and also some that are free, but they have either limited functionality or they are not uh, capable of streaming HD. So, uh, the one that I found that works the best is one that is called Splashtop. And you go to splashtop.com and you click download streamer. So obviously if you're watching this video you know how to download things and install them on your computer. So, once you have Splashtop installed, you're going to create a email login with a password. This will allow uh, privacy and security on your account so nobody else can uh, stream or access whatever you're doing. So I'm going to go to the tablet and let's open up Splashtop. Let's see here. Splashtop, and this is the one that I purchased. It's called Splashtop HD. You can see what the um, IP address here. Let me move this tablet so you can see it better. So it's going to show you like your IP address, and if you have the business version, you can connect to a couple of different uh, PCs. So I'm going to click on this. Now I have a security code set up on mine. I'm going to punch that in here. Okay, so now it's connecting, and now that I have this open on my computer, let me go ahead and log in on here as well. Bear with me just one second. All right, so now that we have both things working here, we're going to downsize this window. And I'm going to show you how the magic happens. So it does bring up a brief uh, screen here to show you the different hints to where if you want to control certain things on your desktop. But that, my friends, is the end result of what you see here. And you can see that we are playing both the same thing. Now on the tablet here, you can actually access different things. So we're going to, sorry if my hand's in the way, I'm trying to do this from my my phone so we're going to and I'm going to tap this on the tablet you can see that it does the similar result on the computer there we go okay not exactly the most accurate thing and I'm going to use a uh, game controller for the sake of having um, my hands free to take this video but I also have it set up to run the audio strictly from tablet. So anything that's on your computer screen is going to be running on your tablet. Now this does depend on your internet connection so if you have a really slow connection uh, you may notice some lag um, between so I wouldn't really recommend playing like first-person shooter games which ironically which is the one I chose to make this video, but we're not really going to play it too much, so. But anyway, so for the sake of the review, oh, and just to show you the router I'm using, I am using uh, an ASUS router, uh, and the game seems to run pretty good. So as you can see here, we are running the full desktop version of Steam on a tablet.
So, what if you want to run something else? Say, I don't want to run Steam. I don't feel like doing that. Well, the nice thing is... Let's just do it from here. Just for the sake of the review. So, say we don't want to run Steam. We want to run something that's really graphical and cool looking. Well... We've got that covered too. Give me just a moment to log in. So now you can see that we are going to run something that is previously unthought of on a tablet. We are going to run Crisis 3. Now because this is a Galaxy Note 12.2, uh, we are going to play it at a uh, higher resolution. And I hope that you can hear this on the tablet. I know these speakers don't go up very loud. Let me put this in a different position. Sorry for the poor video quality. It's just hard to do with holding in your hand. But anyway, so if we resume the game, and again, this is running on the tablet and is also running on the computer. Now, I've tried this approximately 30, 40 feet away, and as long as your Wi-Fi coverage in the house is good and your uh, controller can reach that far, you're good to go. Um, very little lag. I've uh, tried Skyrim, tried a couple different games so far, and they all seem to work pretty well. Hold up. Minefield. Cells using intelligent munitions. It means they only blow up And price. just to show you what the different options are, you can see that this is set to uh, pretty much maxed out settings. So everything's very high quality. Um, like it is the full to interface video with the game of Crisis running on your tablet. So, again, uh, that completes how to stream games to your uh, tablet from your computer. Very simple to set up. I think when I initially did this, I spent maybe five minutes just to go on Android uh, and buy it. And again, uh, available on the Play Store, very easy to find. And again, the one I'm using is called, um, oh, what the hell is it called? Splash Top Streamer. And again, I have the HD version. There's a standard version, which is about $5. They have them 50% off right now. The HD version is 10. I believe they also offer a free version, but I think that's a very low resolution. So hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative on uh, how to stream games and your PC to your tablet.